Hey, yo, what is going on you guys? Calahandro here and welcome back to another episode of Magayon. In this episode, we're going to be building a single point urban interchange but making it more pedestrian friendly. We're actually, this is a kind of a single point urban interchange inspired um, intersection because this is a super duper compact um, intersection. Now, if we want, if we were to compare this to a typical SPY, especially for American standards, let us just move a little bit over here to something that I made. This would be the actual scale of it. And then if we compare them, three lanes on each direction, six lanes on each side, with so many lanes, two lanes going left, two lanes going straight there. If you want to see uh, a, a proper way of building this, I'd recommend you watch Yumble's video on SPYs because those are amazing. But here we're creating a super tiny, a little bit, it's like a tiny home of like tiny house nation, but for the roads. If you compare them side by side, you'd see how much space we save. The difference between this and the huge one over there is that this is not car first, it's car second. First, the first priority here are the pedestrians and the cyclists, as you can see with the clearly defined markings and islands that give safety to them. And the second are the cars. They are still as important as they was before, but now we're giving even more importance to the safety of everybody. And of course, with that, we get more inclusive um, designs. We have two express lanes going underneath it. What I'm building in this episode is going to be part of the highway system of Mugayon. This is going to be inspired by EDSA. If you've been following the series, we're finally building EDSA in Magayon. This road is essentially a four-lane avenue. Well, actually, it's eight, four in each direction, but we have two lanes that bypass intersections along the highway so that it doesn't you know they don't stop our goal is to create a bypass road essentially for this entire space if you guys want to check out how i built this consider giving it a like subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't notify whenever i up the new episode with that being said let's get started so we're going to be starting by so the main idea behind this is that this is a four lane highway that has two lanes that is going to go underneath this intersection i'm starting off by building a parallel road to this now i want to keep that distance in the middle so that if you ever want to place like an elevated train line or an elevated something in the middle of it you have the space and i'm just going to be deleting these so that we would have space to place down the two lane roads. So I'm using two lanes so that this is like four lanes. It's a little bit, it's more, it's easier for traffic to pass through or like change their direction in the interchange. Choosing a shorter distance. I wanna keep two nodes on each end of this. I'm just gonna align them close to each other like so. I'm just gonna make sure that they don't clip with one another when I sink it down. So yeah, is this good? Okay, let me just move it back. Okay, that's fine, it doesn't clip. So let's just move this to this side on the right. And let's just make sure that the center island is equidistant from the other one. So, because you know, we gotta keep that space. So let me just copy this over here on the side. Once again, keeping into consideration the center island or the gap in the middle. And I'm just gonna drag this road over here and this one also over here and these other ones over here. And I'm just gonna be um, flipping them so that they would face the right direction. Turn off snapping, I mean the connection to thingy. I don't know what these are, I just know how they work. And snapping, I think that's snapping. So here we're reconnecting them once again. Now those two outer lanes, they will actually be the ones that will intersect with the road and those at the center will be sunken, avoiding this intersection completely. This is kind of like a single point urban interchange, but it's a lot more friendly to pedestrians. Now, we will now be sinking down these two roads here on the side. Let me just place down a road that is seven 
meters um, below ground level because I think that's the one that is the minimum um, depth of a sunken road in City Skylines or with the asset that I'm using here. And I'm just gonna move these nodes here to the side of the road so that they'd be aligned together. And when I sink them down, it will be a lot cleaner. And also later on when I connect everything, it'll look a lot better. So you can see it's sunk down. Wait, it's a little bit too low. Oh, I placed down the thing on the higher terrain. Let me just place down a seven meter deep sunken road. And let's align it to that. Now that's right. And let's align the main road, main avenue or whatever here so that it'll look all nice and tidy. And I'm going to be destroying these center ones because I am not going to be connecting it into two nodes. It's just going to be into one node because the traffic doesn't really like having two nodes close to each other. And the way I'm doing that is by doing this. There we go. Very compact single point urban interchange. Now you can end it here, but I want to use node controller a bit more to make it look a lot cleaner. Also move it is going to be essential. So you can see we're moving it and I'm turning on snapping so that it snaps perfectly. And yeah, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that nice? So we're going to be using segment and controller, which is just part of node controller. If you want the links to the mods that I use, they are down below. And also the roads, assets, and everything that I'm using for this build, they are linked down below. So I'm using node controller to clean up the connection of the this like node here. I'm fixing it all up so that the roads are going straight through not with this weird curve here and i'm just moving it um moving it here changing the things i'm not i'm not using the new segment and controller mod like the no controller i'm more familiar with this so if you guys are using the newer ones i think yumbo has a great tutorial on how to make a compact um single point urban interchange and there we have it it's very clean, isn't it? I've also changed the two lane roads to have this like um, fence around it. So I wouldn't have to detail it too much. Uh, here we're going to be placing a crossing. And I just decided to just move this, um, this line segment or this line node for this intersection to go all across the entire highway. And it's going to be seven meters wide because I think the road is just six meters, the width of the sidewalk is six meters. I think I did, I didn't think, I think I did too much of a wide sidewalk here, but at least, you know, people have a lot of space. A lot of people will just be walking around the city and, but we still need to have like car infrastructure in place. So I'm just gonna be doing a similar thing here, but I have to use the left, uh, left side of the road because if you want to place a stop sign or a stop line, you can't do that if you have the node of the street moved all the way to the other side. So let me just fix it up here once again with node controller, making it, it cleaner so that the pathways would be um, straight and nice and tidy. As you can see, I'm not giving this place a uh, big, very big curves because for cyclists, this, this won't help the cyclists too much. So you can see, I can still place a stop line there, even though I move the entire line segment of the other road all the way to the other side. So we're also gonna be adding in a bike path, a uh, uh, bike line so that cyclists will have like a guided path to where they have to go when crossing this intersection. As you can see, as compared to other intersections, this intersection is not car first, but cars, car second or car third. Our main priority here are the pedestrians and the cyclists because why not? I still wanna build me some highways, but you know, the city, I want the city to be a very livable city. And the way to do that is to provide um, a diverse mobility, choice of mobility in the city. So. That's that. Let me just place down this like road here so that it would be the same. 
with the other ones. I want to have this pink colored um, orange-ish bike lane system that I have in the city. I have ended up with this color. It's supposed to be like red, but it ended up being orange. So that's that. So let me just copy the color and paste it right here. There we go. And we're going to adjust it to become a little bit more orange. And there we have it. That is now the bike crossing all done. I'm just going to be copying it and then selecting the, the fill area and then pasting it here. Super simple, super nice. I'm also going to be changing this road into a um, darker color, a darker asphalt, because darker asphalts are tend to be the newer asphalts and they are smoother and faster. So the road the road quality in Magayon, the standards, the quality of the roads here are super high. So if you're driving, it would be a very nice place to drive in Magayon, actually. So here in the Philippines and other Southeast Asian countries, I don't know, it's mostly here. I see these like yellow boxes with a cross in the middle of them. And this means that you cannot be inside of the intersection when the red when the light is red. So that's that. And I didn't want to put that much detail into this place because Magayon is already a bit laggy. So thankfully I was able to shoot this like live play, but the audio was the audio was eh. So as you can hear, I'm actually voice overing this thing so i place down the decal select the decals and select the height of the one that is exposed so that they all be connected because the decals actually follow the terrain here i'm also placing a ploppable surface which is an asphalt surface because the highways have a different height than the roads the roads are actually sunken down by i think 30 centimeters while the highways are at grade. So I'm using that and this sloping um, asphalt. But as you can see, it's not actually the same color. So I will be using Move It to paint the, change the color to a darker color. Just select Move It and then choose the surfaces you want to change and click this color tool here. You can actually make it white or whatever color you want, which is very nice. But let's just make it similar to this. There we go. It's all done, all nice and tidy. And I just want to add a bit more detail by placing this down so that you can use this so that people would not be able to change lanes when they're approaching the intersection. Yes. So let me just choose an arrow so that people would actually know where to go because this road asset here doesn't really have any lane markings or intersection marking so i have to place them mano mano or like mano mano what is mano mano in english i think it's manually there we go i have to place them manually so you can turn left or right or straight through the left nose lane is of course to the left and the right is to the right and that's that i don't want to focus that much on the lane connections because traffic here is quite slow but if you guys want to see how i did that that will be later on um, I'm quite annoyed by, by this thing here, so let's just move that. Look at how clean it is. Isn't it amazing? I'm also, also going to be making this a lot greener. There we go. So you can see, it's a lot, lot greener. And yeah, that is the intersection all done. I think we just need to place down some detailings. I'm also going to be connecting it to the road here because it's really not connected to anything. And I'll be right back. So I decided to add in the sidewalk because why not? This is not a highway highway. It's just an avenue that acts like a highway, but people can still walk on the side of the roads of this. I'm going to be calling it avenue. It takes inspiration from EDSA, but later on you'd really see that it doesn't look anything like EDSA because EDSA is very dirty and this one is very clean and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it used to be uh, quite beautiful, I guess, or clean, but you know what it looks like. If you're from the Philippines, you'd know how infamous EDSA is for its traffic and its congestion and everything in between. I'm just using a pathway. This is a concrete pedestrian path, and this is just four lanes, and I'm, and I'm giving it a little bit of space on the side so that I can place down some trees there. And here I'm just cleaning up the nodes so that it would be a lot, lot smoother. 
and moving it a little bit so that people driving won't slow down because when nodes are a little bit too close to each other they tend to make the cars drive slowly which we don't want and yeah now we are going to be hiding the clipping issues that you can see with this concrete barrier it's going to be choosing 24 units so that there will just be three nodes that we have here and i'm going to be aligning it here at the center for now let's sink it down so that it be all nice and tidy there we go so yeah we now finished the concrete barrier the side walls if you will but now we're going to be continuing with the intersection marking so i used four lanes instead of like six six to three two is to two to four i'm using two to four here so two lanes going underneath the intersection and two lanes intersecting to the intersection so i'm just moving it to make it all look cleaner and i'm placing down a chevron right here nothing fancy just basic detailing inverting it so it'd be facing the right direction and i'm changing this line this dashed line here to match the dash line that i have for this japanese highway asset that i have so the basic so basically you can, i've already saved this but it's i think four meters by five four is the length and five is the distance like that so if you want to go ahead you can just save that so that you wouldn't be doing that every time just like i'm doing here here so i'm just going to be adding in some detailing on the side of the road i'm adding in these hedges to give it a little bit of this um a greener vibe because i don't want to place i want to make it look landscape and fancy it's giving singapore once i finish this it's giving singapore mixed with japanese because I'm using Japanese roads and the narrowness of it all is a lot more Japanese. But in the next episode, I will be changing this intersection once again. Because while building this, I realized that I was supposed to add bus lanes on this road. But we only have two lanes on each direction. And if you have one lane that is dedicated to buses, there wouldn't be a proper, like, allowance for the cars to be in and the buses to have so in the next episode you're going to be seeing that but for now let's get back into the video i'm going to back into the live play and show you guys how this looks and functions in more detail after some fiddling around with the detailing i finally finished it's super compact isn't it i've just added in some trees by the way and some buildings on the side so that we can just get like a vibe of this place. Let me just go on to first person and show you guys what it would feel like to drive through here. Okay, so now we are in the highway. I don't know what I'm calling this place. This isn't actually an avenue, but it acts as a highway. It's a road. Yes. So this part, this is where you go underneath the intersection. So you don't have to wait for the red light, which is very, very nice. You have a lot of hedges, a lot of greenery. It's giving Singapore, but with the assets that I have, it's very much a Japanese inspired one, especially with the narrowness of the street. But I'm taking inspiration actually from Edsa with this one. Oh, we need to cover this place up because you can actually see the top clipping but yeah the slopes i think it's quite smooth um it's not that steep but with the limited space that we have this is this is fine this is all right and once you go out you can either continue on here the ones that can merge this has to continue by the way like two lanes on the interior will be the express lanes for this highway and that will continue across the entire circumferential road in the city not just in this part so yeah let me just okay it's very nice once we finish up this place it's all gonna look very very urban so this is a super urban um highway okay and let me just show you the lane connection so that you'd see what i mean okay here before going into like these are two separate roads right this is the express lane and this is the general use lane the innermost will always be express lanes and the outermost will always be general but these two when you intersect into a four lane road 
you can move across. You can either go into an express lane or onto a general use lane so that, for example, if you're from here and you want to go here, you can change lanes here and move to the right and then once again move again to the right so that you can enter here. I should probably add that choice here. There we go. Now many people are actually driving in the city, which is why I just decided to make this very narrow. But the thing is, I am actually planning on creating a dedicated bus lane for this side on the outermost. But I think adding a bus lane on a two lane road, that is a little bit too much. I mean, we don't really have that much traffic here, but I think we should still keep a two lane um, uh, allowance for private vehicles because you know so that people turning left and right won't have issues and traffic won't clog up that much so I will be adding a third lane a third lane which is only for buses but that is for another episode for the next episode I will be reworking this once again because I failed to take this into account while building this but that's okay we can still build that in the next episode so if you guys enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up comment down below what you want to see next and of course don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to show your support to the channel consider becoming a patron on patreon.com and get exclusive content early access and so much more this is Alejandro signing off bye